Hello, good afternoon. It's a deal for Zal. Hey, market analysts at CFDs.com bringing you a review of the European markets for the end of day's trading session Tuesday, the 21st of November 2017. Please be sure to visit TradeSingler, www.tradesingler.com, and certainly download the uh, latest signals market blitz from leading providers. Also, you can visit the uh, Google app and the Apple app store for the uh, latest app. Okay, in terms of European markets, then an impressive and a stellar rally today. German DAX running 108 points, uh, the, uh, the French CAC up 25, the FTSE 100 certainly uh, finishing uh, strong as well. That was led by Asian Session, Asian Session, uh, Hang Seng, a whopping uh, almost 2% rally, that's 560 points overnight. The Nikkei certainly continues its surge higher as well. Let's just bring up the Nikkei chart for you. Okay, so Nikkei chart certainly continues, uh, it's uh, much move higher. Also with regards to the Shanghai as well. Shanghai very impressive continuing its uh, ascent on the weekly and daily chart as well okay so Asian markets certainly leading the reversal and triggering a short squeeze uh, European markets finished higher on the back of even with the uh, obviously uh, backdrop of uh, German uh, coalition talks fading certainly seems like, the, seems like the market certainly isn't concerned about that at all uh, as has been the case uh, with regards to the markets in terms of risk sentiment uh, totally ignoring all risk sentiment and certainly pushing higher. You've had the Dow surging higher to new highs now. You've had the Nasdaq, the S&P hitting that 2600 mark. So it's as if nothing has uh, changed at all, okay, in terms of the market itself. In terms of fundamentals, let's quickly run through fundamentals for you. Looking at the economic calendar, nothing really major today. Uh, you had US home sales certainly coming in stronger than expected, so that certainly helped. Uh, Red Book certainly came in stronger as well. Chicago Fed coming in stronger. So everything really from the U.S.'s perspective, stronger, positive. Uh, also, although with regards to tax reform, etc., uh, the uncertainty surrounding that as well, certainly ignored and the markets certainly are embracing the uh, the actual uh, market rally at present. In terms of the German DAX daily chart, just another bullish engulfing candle bouncing off that oversold territory. 60-minute chart is coming up to some resistance here. We'll see how this uh, unfolds. In terms of 60 minute chart, 10 minute chart as well, certainly seems overstretched for now. Uh, but again, um, I mean, from a 60 minute chart perspective, we could easily throw some back higher, back up to 13,400 levels. So from 12,900, we've rallied almost 300 pips, so especially from that 12,850 level as well. So it has been very, very impressive given the uh, uncertainty surrounding the, uh, the actual politics of uh, Germany uh, going forward. In terms of uh, the French CAC, let's bring up the French CAC for you, give you an insight there. In terms of the French CAC, let's go to the uh, daily chart first and foremost. French CAC at the moment certainly pushing higher, but hitting that 35386 3, level before reversing a uh, lower 60 minute chart on the French CAC again, hitting that crucial key resistance zone there. Previous support equals resistance and reversing. So let's see how that plays out as well. Uh, in terms of uh, reversal now, you are seeing 5345 as support on the French CAC and then going lower to 5300. So watch out for those two levels. 10 minute chart on the French CAC at the moment. You've got previous resistance equals support. Okay, so let's keep an eye on that. Again, you're looking at 5350 potential support as well if we continue to flush lower. So resistance at 5386 for now. You do have some support at 5360. Okay, let's see how that plays out in terms of the French CAC going forward. So watch out for those low levels. 5385 resistance, 5360, 5350 as potential support. Okay. In terms of the FTSE 100, then let's look at the FTSE 100 itself. Daily chart at the moment has broken out of that key bearish engulfing uh, candle from the uh, 15th of November. Uh, any potential thrust higher will see resistance at 7435. Certainly will encounter resistance there. You have this bear flag formation that's in play on the daily chart, which technically means that it's going down to 7300 and potentially 7200. But we shall see and we shall observe. 60 minute chart on the uh, FTSE itself at the moment. You have resistance, previous resistance equals support 7430, so that's your key resistance zone. Okay, uh, there is this historical level as well. Let's watch out for that in terms of the market. You've got previous resistance equals support here as well. So let's see how the market unfolds there. Okay, in terms of support, you certainly have a base at 7360 now. So let's see how that uh, unfolds as well. Uh, using your Fibonacci or your retracement lows if you were to go. Uh, in terms of the market itself, if you retrace now from this pivot high, then you are looking at 7380 support on the 60 minute channel too. 10 minute chart, you've broken out this rising uh, contracting wedge. 
Uh, next potential support is 7405, then you have 7395, then ultimately you're going back down to 7370. So watch out for those zones on the 10 minute chart as well. So that's basically where we are. Uh, no man's land for now. Uh, resistance above. If you break above 7440, then the bulls certainly are back, and we are looking to potentially retest that 7550 zone above. Okay. And that's the status quo. Okay. Uh, now that certainly wraps up the European markets. Please be sure to visit uh, w.cfds.com. Uh, your specialists in uh, Britain, the brokerage field, and certainly all the way up to two and a half thousand uh, on your 25% uh, cash bonus offer. So, again, watch out for that. Okay, folks, on that note, please be sure uh, to take download the latest app as well at Trade Signaler. On that note, goodbye.